remember going to Celtic and my first day at Celtic, I got on the bus and was shaking and Neil refused to shake my hand because... Neil Lennon. Yeah, because... And we grew we grew to really like each other, but we'd had some real moments on the pitch. Was it a jocular thing or was it quite serious? No, I don't want anything to do with you. Whoa, whoa. No, it was, was quite it like? serious. <laughs> it was quite serious. It wasn't like, um, you know, he was playing around with me. I think Neil as well was one that wanted to test you a little bit. You know, and actually we became good teammates. I really like Neil. I've seen a lot of things in Neil that I could see in myself. Um, but, you know, he did that. And, and I accepted that's what it was, that um, we'd had some real battles, some real words on the field of play. Um, I'll stop you there, Elvis. Did, did you have to think back and think, shit, what was it I said to him? No, <laughs> did, I said... Did you, did you know? No. Did you know what the incident was? No, I, I knew there was a few, and I knew that that one in particular. I think Rudy Scatcho when there was a spitting incident on the field of play. I don't know if you can remember that. That involved yes. Neil, Neil and Rudy Scatcho, and I think I defended Rudy to the hilt on that situation. And of course, Neil wasn't particularly happy with it, but. They had some big personalities. Some of the run-ins in that time, you know, Chris Sutton, I always remember Chris used to be telling me constantly that I'd be working till I was 70. Well, he's, he's no far <laughs> off it, by the way. You know, he used to talk about his money a lot and that I would be working till I was 70 years age. So he, he's actually quite right. You know, I, I'm looking about 70, but... Uh, the thing is, Sutty's working, Sutty's having to work for every single media organisation in the face of the planet. We can't turn on anything without seeing Sutty these days. Uh, it's so true.